Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. This is Oshani from Chinta.com. In this particular video, we will talk about a problem from ISI BSTAT B Math Entrance 2025. But if you are preparing for mathematical Olympiads like IOQM, American Math Competition, this can be a really interesting tool for solving geometric equations. So I call this the comparison tool. You measure the same thing from two different directions and then that gives you an equation and that equation can be solved. So one thing measured in two different directions. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, let me explain the problem first. The problem says that we have a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD where AB is equal to BC. Both of them are equal. And AD and CD are also equal. So it's like a cyclic kite. And we want to find out cosine of this angle theta, angle ADC. There is one more information given. The ratio of AB over AD is 1 over 3. That's the second information. Now with this, we want to find out the cosine of this angle. As I, as I told you, there is a central strategy. We have to create an equation involving cosine of theta. And to do that, we will measure the same thing from two different directions. And what is that thing? That thing is the length of AC. Okay, so let me draw AC. This is a construction. Draw AC. And suppose AB is X then BC is also X, then AD is three times X. We know that AB over AD is one third. I'm using this fact. And DC is also three times X. Now we are ready to use the cosine rule from this direction and from this direction. So what is AC? AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square minus twice AB into BC into cosine of, this is 180 minus theta, isn't it? It's a cyclic quadrilateral. So if this is theta, then this is 180 minus theta. Okay, one thing to notice is that cosine of 180 minus theta is actually minus cosine theta. This is a very basic trigonometric fact. You can also try to derive it using the unit circle diagram. So this is equal to x square plus x square minus 2 times x times x times negative of cosine of theta. So it is 2x square plus 2x square cosine theta. Okay, that's great. Now we want to figure out AC from this direction. Okay, how do I do that? Again, the second equation is again AC square is equal to AD square plus CD square minus 2 times AD times CD times cosine of the angle in between, cosine of theta. Okay, so this is the central idea. I am measuring AC in two different ways. Okay, so now let's write it down. AC squared is 3x whole square plus 3x whole square minus 2 times 3x times 3x times cosine of theta. So these two objects are equal because both of them are equivalent to AC square. Okay, so now we will equate them. This is 18x square minus 18x square cosine theta is equal to 2x square plus 2x square cosine of theta. So I can just cancel off the x square, of course. To do that, we have to be sure that x is not zero. But obviously, x is not zero. It's the length of this side. So x is definitely not zero. So we can cancel off the x square. So I have 18 minus 2 is equal to 20 cosine theta or 16 by 20 is cosine theta or cosine theta is 4 by 5. 
Okay, so we get cosine of theta. I'll ask you a challenge question. Can you tell me what is sine of theta from this picture? I mean, it's very simple. You just have to use a very easy trigonometric identity. Find out the value of sine of theta. And then in this picture, in this picture, draw the length of cosine theta and sine theta. What pieces of length will be cosine theta and sine theta in this particular picture? Okay, if you can do it, write down the in the comment section the value of sine theta. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have, then please consider subscribing. We post videos on mathematical olympiads, physics, computer science, research and so on regularly. Uh, if you are interested in those programs, you can also check the link in the description. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.